name is Nate. This is Throttle Only. Behind me, I have a Nissan Sentra SR. Let's go. All right, so in front of me, I have the Nissan Sentra SR. So in 2023, MSRP before any options or dealer markup. So it costs you about $23,000. Obviously, this isn't a sports car or anything like that. It's an economy car. And honestly, it's pretty awesome. So this thing has 149 horsepower, 145 foot-pounds of torque. Which is not bad. It goes 0 to 60 in about 9 seconds. Although, to be honest, it feels a little bit slower than that. I do love this exterior look that it has with this two-tone black and white. That is my absolute favorite look. Alright, so let's start up front with the hood. We have some small contours there. Give it a little bit of dimension. You have your standard Nissan emblem up front with all of your adaptive cruise control bits in there. And then you have Nissan's V-Motion grill, as they call it. And then below that, and to the sides, you have your lights, of course, that are LED. And I think they look really nice. All right, let's go ahead and come on to the side here. All right, so this car is 18 inch wheels by Nissan. This is front wheel drive. Just regular brakes there. It does have some nice body lines there on the side. And then a body colored skirt as well. You do have markers on the mirrors for turning. They do not fold in and they are not um, auto dimming either. Standard door handles. You can push to lock and unlock. Only on the front you can do that. And then as we come down to the back, you have a nice spoiler at the top there that is body colored. You have your central logos and the SR there. And then you also have your LED tail lights as well. I think they look very nice at night. And, and then below that, just where the trunk is at, you have another central logo here. Painted on here. And then coming all the way down, you have a fake diffuser, some mesh style, and then one exhaust kit in there as well. I really love this styling. For how cheap this vehicle is, it really does look pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the trunk space here. Pop it up here. Just have my camera bag in there. Decently sized. Go ahead and take these seats out here. That's going to be the rear room for you. Decent amount of room. Pull down these seats here. I'm 6'1, so I can't pull the seat all the way down. Let's go ahead to the other side. pull it down with this tab here. Much better. So you do have a decent amount of room 
So we have both of those seats down. There you can see it right there. All right, so even though this is an economy car, let's go ahead and see what this exhaust sounds like. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the engine bay. All right, so now I have the hood popped. Let's go ahead and take a look at this two liter four cylinder engine CVT. Pretty standard, nothing special. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. All right, let's go ahead and start with the driver's side here. We open up. Is there a lock and unlock? Open up the door panel. Door is very light. You have your window controls here. Only the driver's side is automatic. You have your lock and unlock, and you can adjust your mirrors as well. There is also some faux carbon fiber. Some soft touch materials here as well. And some orange contrast stitching. Above that, you do have your blind spot monitoring indicator that will turn yellow when someone is in your blind spot. Moving on into the cabin, you also have a central logo as you step in. You have cloth seats, again with that orange contrast stitching. And then you do have manual controls for the seat. And you have standard rubber pedals as well. As we move up, you have your trunk open button, eco mode, you can adjust the brightness in your displays and set reset. You have a decent size center console here that is pretty deep. And you also have cup holders with some more of that faux carbon fiber and a little bit of storage behind that. You also have your gear selector and your start and your stop. Moving up. You have your AC controls, very easy to use, on, off, you have a nice LCD display there, display what's going on, nice venting, and then you do have a decent size infotainment system here as well, with some nice hard buttons. Probably the best thing about this infotainment, if you're riding at night or during the day, it's very bright, you can just hit this button here, it'll automatically toggle between those two uh, settings. You can also hit your camera button there that will pull up your camera. All right, so skipping on over to the passenger side here. The passenger side has some more of that faux carbon fiber as well as the lock unlock controls and window controls. They also have more of that contrast stitching in orange. That is also above the glove box. The glove box has a good amount of room in it. Decent space for your passenger as well. And then looking at the steering wheel, pretty basic. Nissan logo in the center, cruise control settings on the right, volume controls on the left, and in the center, you do have a small adjustable screen here as well. I like to keep it on speed, but there are other modes as well. Vehicle settings, this is for cruise control, Bluetooth audio, information about your car, such as tire pressure, Fuel economy, this gets pretty good fuel economy. And that is pretty much the interior on the Nissan Sentra. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a drive and see how it feels. All right, so taking out the Nissan Sentra SR, putting it into drive. This car is decently comfortable. I think I can get over any flaws it might have just because of the price and how cheap it is. $23,000 for MSRP is not bad at all. 
and I'm sure if you find one used, it's even better. So first thing that I noticed driving this car is it is extremely smooth. This is an automatic transmission. It is front wheel drive and it does use a CVT transmission as well. It's not a fast car. It's not meant for that. It's meant for a good fuel economy and it's comfortable. Um, driving other cars that perhaps are a little bit faster my passengers might be jerking when I'm shifting gears or just driving in regular mode. And I notice with this, there's none of that. It's nice and smooth. Even coming to a stop, it's great. We'll do a quick zero to 60 here. Just show you how slow this really is. That is with my foot all the way to the floor. The steering is very nice as well. There's really good visibility in here. I really am a fan of this Nissan Sentra. If I did not like fast cars and I was not a car enthusiast, I would 100% buy one of these. It looks stylish. You have that nice contrast white and black on the outside, kind of like a Range Rover might have. You have nice LED headlights and taillights up front. The inside is nice and simple. The sound system is decent, but again, for this price range, it really is a nice vehicle. I've already driven this vehicle around about 80 miles, maybe a little bit less, and my tank has hardly even moved. You can also push this button here on the side, your eco mode, and it'll give you better fuel efficiency as well. All right, so I think that wraps up my impressions and driving experience with this Nissan Sentra SR. This thing is pretty cool. It is a decent vehicle. I think that if you were looking for a nice commuter car, this is one to really consider, especially if perhaps you're the only one commuting. It is a, a very good car. All right, thank you so much for watching like, comment if you have something to say, subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much. Peace.